Okay, um, I don't know why I'm nervous, but I'm a little bit nervous. Um, this video is about shadow people and the hat man, in my experience. So I have to tell you, like, the backstory. I'm going to keep it real short, though, uh, <clears throat> because, you know. Anyway, so my wife has a... a a thyroid issue and um, a few years ago it it causes her it acts up sometimes and it causes her to have hives all over so um, we I was she was really bummed out about it because it happens and it lasts for like three months anyway um, we I was researching how I could you know, help her, and I stumbled across um, this guy named Tahuti um, D Health Store, or you know, I mean, he changed his name, so you know, years later. But at that time, I watched his videos because he was on YouTube. I watched a bunch of his videos and researched him. Him and Doctor Sabi. So, long story short, we um. I have to go back, sorry. Well, I'll, I'll tell you that story. <clears throat> I'm talking about the hat man. So we ordered his stuff, the, the 90 or the 90 day detox. And we did it, I did it. And I felt amazing. And we stopped eating meat. Um, and, and then I started like sun gazing and Grounding, like putting my feet in on the earth and ground. I was doing all this stuff. I was meditating. And what started to happen was um, during meditations, my body began to vibrate. And it was weird. I was like, am I supposed to be feeling like this? Because it was like a... It wasn't my pulse or anything. My body would just start to go... Like, it would build up and it freaked me out. So, so we were doing good. But one day we were had, we had this agreement and um, it was really weird because... Um, I, f I felt like someone was trying to put a negative thought into my head about her and she got up out of the bed and left and went into the other room. Later on, I found out that she heard, this, heard maybe her subconscious, whatever, say, you know, I'm feeling a, a negative way about her. Um, I want to explain that interaction because we have thoughts all the time, but this was different. It's almost like somebody was suggest. I I was aware that this was an external thought that was coming outside, and it was like a picture. It was like, well, this is what you can do, and it was a suggestive thing, but it was so. It was it was it was it was negative towards her, so it startled me a little bit. So what happened was I text her to come back I'm sorry and um you know basically she came back and we were talking making up you know we we're like you know I'm sorry this and that and she started crying my wife really never cries but she was bawling she was bawling bawling bawling, bawling. and then I looked the way how our room is is that the bed is um towards the back of the room and it's a pretty big room, so the doorway is blocked by a little, the wall. So there's a wall here, and if you make a left, the door is there. There's a, like a little space. So as she's crying, I just happen to look towards that direction, and the only light is the bathroom. So the bathroom is before you get to that space. You know, the, the, the bathroom, the door to the bathroom, and that light was on. But before that, there's the closet, the bathroom, and then you go, and then you turn, and then that's the door to exit the room, and then this is all the room. Anyway, um, so I look towards that way, towards the the door exit, 
and I see the blackest black. I it was blacker than this. Black, 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 and it was tall. You know, he had a a fedora hat on and a trench coat. Look, it looked like a trench coat because you know how you flip up the top of the trench coat. Um, and the wall, he kind of was like peeking like this. And I I kind of like rubbed my eyes. I was like this. Because it startled me. I thought somebody was there. I was like, who's that? Like, But the thing was, it was tall. It was like, it had to be seven feet at least. You know, and it was like pairing like that. It just stuck part of its body, the only the top part of his body and was looking. So I was like, yo, to my wife, I was like, hey, hey, she stop crying. I said, it's deeper than that. It's, And then I looked because our bed and then you look to the left, there's a closet. And um, I I saw or kind of saw, I'm not, I'm gonna be honest, I kind of saw, it was like, it was blending in with the darkness. I don't know how to describe that, but there was something else in the closet and and it was like malicious. Like I had a feeling I've never like, you know, you know, people like intuitive, but this was like a knowing, you know, that the thing in the closet was malicious. But I never got that feeling from the hat man. And I didn't know who the hat man or what it was and what. So I, what happened was when she realized, she said, I said, yo, babe, it's deeper than that. And she was like, I said, it's spiritual. And she's like, she said, without me saying anything to her, she was like, there, she said, quote, there's one by the door and one by the closet. And it blew my mind because she knew what I was talking about. And um, so I kind of like, you know, was, I was a little afraid, but I was like, you know, no, you, you know, I got me like, you're not going to. I didn't pray because we're not really religious, but I was like trying to meditate and say and take my power back. Like you can't hurt us and this and that and third. And they kind of like disappeared, like they backed off or whatever. <clears throat> it it kind of bothered me because it was weird. It was just a crazy event. So I did, I didn't call them shadow people. I just did an internet search and a YouTube search um, of what, you know, if people have seen this or, you know, I said, you know, I said, um, man in hat, dark figure, and then I came across shadow people, and then I, I was shocked. I saw like these videos with a depiction of the same thing that I saw, and I'm like, I wasn't in sleep paralysis. I was fully awake, and I was like, you know, that's crazy. How could it, so many other people see the same thing that I saw? Like the same entity or whatever being. And then um, um, I have a younger brother who lives you know, a few states away from me. And I was telling him the story. He's like, yeah, I see him too. And they only come, he only comes when I'm like super angry or sad. And he'll just, he described him to the T of what I saw. And it just blew my mind. And then subsequently, I started like um, just meditating. And there are like these different entities. And um, one, one of the, um, <clears throat> there, it happened to me a time before that. Um, and I wanted to tell that story first because that's the hat man. Um, the other entities though, um, it's every time when I guess I was starting to, um, so 
And years before that, we had lived in Brooklyn and um, New York, and um, <clears throat> we were a part of a Seventh-day Adventist church. And uh, we had just, we weren't like, you know, we had just became members of that church and recently, and they had a what's called a health message uh, from a lady named Ellen G. White. And so we started doing it. We started eating. We stopped eating meat at that time and started like eating healthier things. But um, I worked really far away, like two hours away. And um, so one night, like I worked really long. It was a hard day, like a really long, hard day. And I was super tired, super tired. So much so when I got home, um, I think I just took off my clothes. I did, I don't know, maybe I took a shower, I don't know. But I was really tired. And I fell asleep on my back, which I never do. Like, I never sleep on my back. Now I deliberately sleep on my back sometimes. But I never slept on my back. If I did, it was like I didn't really mean to. But I fell asleep on my back without a pillow on the bed. And I woke up. And my whole body, like, I was awake, but my body wasn't. And I felt everything my chest was like heavy on me it was like on me it wasn't really like a part of me it was like on me and i panicked and i tried to um talk and my mom was like it it could i couldn't speak i couldn't so i was like you know what's that word but i was just panicking you know but um what happened was I said, I got to calm down. So I calmed down and I said, let me just try to get up. So I felt myself kind of sit up. So I'm sitting up, but my body is still laying down. And it, it was like, oh, like I was, it was crazy. So, but I was looking at myself you know, my arms and stuff, they were still laying down. And I was like, what? You know, I was, it was a lot to process that I was kind of like, you know, I was like this. And then I was, it's like I sat up. And when I sat up, um, I saw the two, these two scary, they look like Schmeagol, Schmeagol from the Lord of the Rings. But they were huge. You know, like he's small, but these things were huge and they were long and they are, you know, they're like, and they were standing. I was on, yeah, I was on this side of the bed and they were just standing there. And one pushed me back into my body. Like it took, push, 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 and pushed me back down into my body. And then I woke up. But they, were terrifying looking, you know, um, and um, so subsequently after that, though, I mean, like, um, you know, after the second event that I told you about the hat man, I was able to sense them, and I I started meditating more and doing all that sun get and doing all that stuff. I was eating like raw vegan exercising, sun gazing, drinking massive amounts of water. I was meditating like crazy, um, listening to like this Robert Monroe guy and his like wave, like one wave in one ear and the other wave in the other ear. And um, <clears throat> I was able to be, my awareness was like on 10. It was crazy, like, and I realized that these beings have a lot, they influence humanity, the, there's the the malicious type ones that influence humanity, and they actually put thoughts into your head, and you don't even know, like, you won't even know, 
So you think that these things are coming from you and they're coming from an outside entity. And it's hard to explain because most people, we're very distracted. It's like I understood. It's like a knowing. It's like we're mad distracted from those type of things. We're so distracted from a being in tune with ourselves and, you know, everything else. Um, and we don't eat well. And, you know, we don't really, a lot of people don't really eat well and or meditate or take those times to build up that um, mental focus. And um, that's how they can stay hidden. They want to stay hidden. And they influence our behaviors. They'll get you to harm yourself or harm others. Or they'll pit others against you. You know what I'm saying? And I, they, you know, I, I don't want to sound cliche, but they feed off negative energy. Like, I don't know what they are, but... I know they're real. I'm like mad nervous talking about it because every time I talk about them, they try to fuck my life up. You know what I'm saying? They try to mess my life up and I don't want that to happen, but I got to tell, I got to say something because I don't think all they're, I think, well, I know for a fact that the hat man has never really done anything to me. Um, but, you know, people kind of associate him with negativity, but I don't really, he's never really done anything to me, you know, he's never really done, I, he just watches, and it's always around, like, when you're very, like, a, a strong emotional, usually negative, but a strong emotional feeling, and if you're aware, or, I don't know if you have to have some sort of, there's uh, some sort of, like, circumstance for him for you to see him but um the other beings they're little they're harder to see because if you're not um training your mind and or eating correctly and that's all that's all i want to say like those things are real i don't think it's no condition like I was, I'm pretty healthy, like, I work out, I run, I do all that stuff, and I, I think that, um, this is crazy, yo, I, I've never, it changed my life, man, I know that, I, I, I don't really deal with religion, because I used to be in religion, um, and I'm not knocking anybody who is, because there's a lot of truths and principles that you can really retain and, and learn from, but, I know that there's something else going on, and um, I just had to say that, you know, I just had to put this out there. Peace.